Um, hello, um, I'm Jasmine. Um, so we're just going to speak, me and Chris have been working together for a couple of years now, so I'm just going to start with my perspective of what we've been up to, and then Chris is going to follow and tell you a little bit more about Beta Society and the Digital Maker Collective itself. Um, so I've just graduated from um, Chelsea College of Arts, which is part of UAL. Um, for two years, I've been working in um, the creative industry um, with a real um, digital kind of led um, method of creating um, work that kind of conceptually looks at the issues of diversity inclusion in technology. So I kind of use technology as a tool to highlight these issues and create spaces to kind of start conversations and um, disrupt kind of existing methods of engagement. Um, so yeah, there's an example of um, some of my work there. I've also been running workshops um, through the Digital Maker Collective with like young people and disadvantaged people and um, just getting them into creative tech. So it's not necessarily, you know, hardcore kind of programming and coding. It's, um, I kind of specialise in creative tech, so um, immersive um, kind of storytelling, um, 3D printing, conceptual kind of scanning, and um, yeah, I guess um, like using gaming software to kind of create like contemporary environments and interactive kind of things. Um, and then, yeah, so the Digital Maker Collective is, um, it's UAL students, staff and alumni kind of coming together to explore um, digital arts. We run events, workshops, um, discussions, partner with like industries and communities. Um, and out of that grew Beta Society, which launched at Tate Exchange last year. So I will let Chris tell you a little bit more about this. Thank you. So, can I just forward that on? Yeah, there you go. So, I am, yeah, I've got the best job in the world. I get to work with uh, amazing people like Jasmine um, uh, at the University of Arts London. So, basically, uh, who are basically the, the future creatives, and I think, uh, so it's like fundamental that we um, start to address the, the definitely diversity within uh, higher education. Uh, I think that's really important. Uh, I also observe that there's no mention of social economic diversity and I think that's really important to put on the agenda which is always missing on the agenda um, and in terms of higher education the speed of development of tech and how higher education keep up is again two poles that are shifting apart so I think it's really important that we have these sort of grassroots uh, groups uh, within education that kind of operate outside the formal education system that push those agendas forward um, so those extreme poles, like I say, within education, tech industries um, are, are, are just wide, are getting wider and wider, and it's getting even further apart from everyday people, the sort of regular community, uh, people that are normally excluded from those communities. So, so yes, yeah, so we formed this or piloted this idea of the Beta Society, where we brought together tech industry. So we worked with Happy Finish, who are a tech company that you might know. Uh, we work with some local communities like Black Five, who are mental health and well-being in Brixton, and Lionheart in the community. And we brought that together with some education partners as well. So basically, we're at the very beginning of exploring this model, and that's the Beta Society. Thank you very much. I, I think just to yeah, go. <laughs> we didn't really speak about that, but um, and I, I forgot to mention. Um, so um, I've graduated now, um, and I'm kind of seeing myself as an entrepreneur. I'm interested in starting a creative business around these topics, and Chris is also interested in the same thing. And we're in a very kind of explorative kind of stage, but I think we're going to try and look at developing something together. So really, um, we're looking for like networking, contacts, advice and um, I guess collaboration or models that are similar um, so yeah we're at the beginning of our journey but hopefully yeah. <laughs> <laughs>